Welcome back to MLB Tonight, a conversation alongside Ed and Verk. I'm Stephen Nelson, and we are going to continue our conversation with some of our friends in the baseball media. And let's welcome them now and introduce you to them. And if you're a baseball fan, you, you know a lot of these names and faces. I'll go top left, June Lee, ESPN, top right, Do Hyung Park, MLB.com, bottom right, Jen Ramos, baseball prospectus, and then bottom left, Sweeney Murdy, WFAN, has covered the Yankees now for a couple decades and change, Sweeney. And so that's where I want to start with you. Being the elder statement, statesman, I don't mean to age you <laughs> with that. Sweeney. I don't. You just have the most experience in seeing the evolution of our industry as it relates to Asian communities, Pacific Islander communities as well. How have you seen it evolve? And perhaps it is slowly. Uh, well, I, I don't think this conversation could have happened 20 years ago. Uh, it would have just been me sitting in a room, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I think it's, most, mostly because most of you guys were all in grade school back then. But I, I think the idea is great because one of the things that, that, that we're able to have this is great because one of the things that I've heard constantly when we talk about uh, African-American baseball players and when they have the conversation about the lack of players uh, or where they come from, they, they all say the same thing. You have to see it to be it. You know, you have to look at other people at those positions and, and be able to put yourself in that spot visually. Well, we've now grown up, you know, most, you know, I can speak for myself. I think a lot of us are in the same boat. Uh, I'm a first generation born and raised in America. My parents came here from India in the 1960s. So the avenues open to you, you know, are kind of stereotypical, but traditional when you're thinking about professions as doctors or engineers or computer programmers, things like mm. that. Well, you know, I didn't fit into any of those categories. I liked being on the radio and I liked sports. <laughs> And I eventually found myself in that direction. I'm glad the, the expectations element has really been brought up all over because, mm. you know, that's kind of a side that I had also felt in my upbringing. I, I was actually born in Korea and didn't move to the United States until I was four. This is not really a place with a large Korean community exactly. Uh, growing up in Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota, where I'm still fortunate, you know, this is a very progressive, open, welcoming community, both personally and professionally, where I've never felt anything but at home. But it's also just kind of, and I, I think I was talking to you guys about this before we opened this as well, in the sense of I haven't really had the chance to think as critically about my Asian identity or how it's kind of helped to shape me, because that wasn't an element that I was really able to explore more to a certain extent in growing up in Minnesota, just by not having really anybody around me in grade school that I could really relate to. Jen, turning to you, I don't think it's lost on anybody looking at the screen right now. You're the only non-male on this panel and yes. on this show. And as a non-binary person, fem, women in sports media, and it's particularly those who identify as Asian or Pacific Islander, what does that mean to you to be kind of representative of that subsect of the community? Yeah, it's very, it's very challenging, I would have to say, because I came out as non-binary in 2015. I've been openly non-binary since then. I've, um, I've had a lot of experiences being an assigned female at birth them non-binary and I feel like that's shaped a lot of the experiences that I've had covering baseball um I I've noticed that like a lot of people have said that I'm one of the earliest people to be openly non-binary in sports media in general um and that's given a lot of visibility that there are a lot of non-binary folks in sports media um but for me personally, I also have a lot of fear that comes with it because, um, you know, being femme and being on the field and just being Asian, I have the fear of the stereotype of either, you know, the dragon lady Asian or the submissive Asian. Mm. Um, and there's always that fear that comes with the stereotypes of being one or the other. And just in general, there's always a lot of violence that comes towards Asian women and femmes and non-binary folks just for being Asian, um, because there's a lot of stereotypes that come into play there. So I often worry about my safety in general, um, and that also extends to covering sports. 
Um, and I feel like that's always a challenge because I try to be, you know, as safe as I possibly can be. Um, I'm grateful that when I do go cover games, um, media relations folks always have my back and tell me like, hey, if anyone gives you a problem because you're not a man, let me know. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. But, you know, that fear is always in the back of my mind, um, especially now when you're seeing that there's so many hate crimes towards Asian women and femmes and non-binaries mm -hmm. because um, it's just a stereotype that's always been attached to anyone who's not a man. So that's something that I always tend to carry with me when I go onto the field. And for a lot of the time, I actually try not to be openly non-binary on the field because I always feel like that's a conversation that can go for so much longer than the clubhouse is open to explain what non-binary means. And that's still that's still an area of identity that is still new to a lot of folks and mm -hmm. um, is, you know, there's still a lot of education being done about it. So for my own safety, sometimes I just let people misgender me for the sake of my own safety. It's a complicated conversation. Sometimes it leads to uncomfortable conversations, but we're going to continue it with our panel. When we come back, we're going to talk about the rise of violence against Asian Americans and the state of Asians right now in baseball. Do not go anywhere. You're watching MLB Tonight, a conversation.